Our role's quite simple. It really is to try and give people that confidence for now and the future. The electric vehicles can do almost exactly what petrol and diesel vehicles can do. You still have that excitement. We're on a cusp of a genuine, massive technological revolution. Everybody needs to benefit from clean, efficient transport. That excites me. Last March, we introduced electric vehicles onto the driving school fleet. The basic skills of driving are very, very similar. Kind of similar, I suppose, to when we went from manual gearboxes to introducing automatic gearboxes, and now we're introducing no gearboxes at all. If you have a crash, we have accident assist. You can buy used EVs with AA cards. We can advise you about charging. People don't think we come out to EV vehicles. Of course we will. It's a car, it's got four wheels. Reliability-wise, you know, there's not a lot that can go wrong on them. It is simple things like tyres, punches, 12-volt auxiliary batteries. And people are scared of running out of charge. We can always deal with that. We've got the means to do it. It's never been easier to find, locate, go to and pay for an EV charge. Certain miss, like you, it's pouring with rain outside right now. You can't charge your car in the rain. But of course you can. So that's our job is to counter that and explain that that isn't the case. They don't break down. They do last longer than petrol and diesel cars and they are better technology. Even if it's one or two percent of the people who come here that go, actually, I'm going to get an electric one next is an amazing shift in, in public perception. Which ultimately is going to make a huge impact to the overall environment that we all have to live in. Think back to the mobile phone and other technologies. It has taken time to embed. But I think, you know, that's a role for the AA and we're willing to do it. Yeah.